What is the best RPM to run your variable speed pump? In order to answer that question, what you need to realize is that, that there is an advantage to you in running the pump at a very low RPM. There's very little friction, very little turbulence, and so the water moves more efficiently at lower speeds than it does at higher speeds. That being said, you can't just turn the RPM down all, to the, all the way to the very minimum value because it probably the pump probably wouldn't even be overcoming the resistance to flow in the plumbing lines, and so you need to set something that's a reasonably low number and then run it more or less 24 hours per day like that. Now, what that would effectively do is most likely provide you with enough filtration to keep your water clean and clear. However, what you need to consider is that there's often peripheral items installed on your swimming pool that will not be able to operate at the lowest RPM levels, something like a gas heater, an in-floor cleaning system, a saltwater chlorinator, and, or any number of other peripheral items all require more flow than the lowest RPM settings are going to give you. And so the low RPM setting on a variable speed pump is something that you want to set to run the bulk of the day, perhaps not the entire day. So then there will be a few hours per day that the pump runs on mid speeds or high speeds, depending on what your specific system demands are. Even something as simple as your skimmer in your pool needs a certain RPM of flow in order to even function properly. So unless you want to have to manually skim all the debris that lands in your pool, then you're going to want to have at least a few hours per day where the RPM of the pump is increased above the minimum values. The same can be said for saltwater chlorinators and heaters. If you have these items, they need a certain amount of flow in order to run, but they also need an extended period of time in order to perform their function. And thereby, if you have some of these peripheral items, you will need to program your pump to run for periods of time where the RPM is high enough to close the pressure switch or close the flow switch that actuate these items. So the goal is to run your pump as many hours a day as possible on the lowest RPM settings, while also having some provisions for mid and high speed for other peripheral items that your swimming pool might have. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.